Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour of Forger and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the new Ace Anvil, the Advanced Combat Environment mod, onto your uh, Armour of Forger server. In this case it's going to be a Nitrado server. So, um, in the link in the description below this video you'll see a link to my initial video showcase about Ace Anvil, which shows you the stuff that it's coming with at launch. However, um, Ace 3 for Armour 3 has hundreds of hundreds of things in it and the devs behind Ace Anvil are saying look we're going to be adding more stuff in all the way up to the release of Armour 4. What we get into it, you know, it will depend on how long that is. Um, so what you probably want to do is I would say, um, you know, install it but keep an eye on their website and the updates to the mod as they're uh, adding lots and lots of new features. Okay, so now it's it's incredibly easy to add mods now to your uh, Armour of Forger um, community server. Really, really easy indeed. I'll put a link to the Ace uh, Online Workshop mods as well. Obviously, you can't install them from here, but if you want the num um, descriptions and things like that, they're there. So here we are. So there's my Armour of Forger on Nitrado. We've clicked into the interface, and then we've gone to the um, config files. Um, so as you can see, these are the config files, and all you've got to do now, <laughs> it's so easy now, is we just need to copy and paste what the game gives us in terms of the mod names into this section here. So your, um, if you haven't got any mods on at the moment, your config file will probably look something like that. In fact, it will probably look, if we get rid of those gaps probably look something like that so we put the mods in in there so let me put mine back in there so the question is where do we get these um, where do we get these mod ID name and and version well we get them within the game very very easy indeed so we go to the workshop and you can go to uh, all and just search for ace and you probably have to do it as recently added and then uh, enable that um, now what they've said is that you've got um, ace all-in-one is a way of subscribing to everything and then you've got the individual parts so you've got ace core which you would need but let's say you only wanted ace trenches you could install ace core and ace trenches and then that would just have those two bits um, as you can see we've got ace compass ace medical so as it goes on I imagine what you will see is more of these modules but if you are subscribed to ace all-in-one what that should do is load up all of the relevant um, dependencies on that so if we go to the mod manager and if I just disable everything right, and then I just go to ace all-in-one and then enable that that then turns on everything there so it's, it's, it's put them all into there so that's really good whereas if we just did uh, say ace chopping that just does chopping and core okay but we want everything so we're going to go to ace all in one and we're going to do that now what you want to do at this point is you want to open up a text editor on your computer i use notepad plus plus because we're just going to edit the files slightly before we install them. Now if we click on the little jigsaw piece here, and we click on JSON, rather amazingly, and this is so good, it's created the uh, entries that we need to add to our website, sort of. Sort of. You could copy these and just paste them in and it would work. However, what I don't like is the fact that it adds the version number here, which locks in the mod on your server at that version number which is what you don't want because what we want is that as these mods get updated we want them to be updated on the server as well so I'm going to show you how to change that so you copy that to the clipboard at this point go over to your um, text, text editor and then paste it in and the way that you do this is that let's say for, for, for some reason you prefer, preferred say the initial version of ace medical and let's say they introduced something later on that you didn't like you could go back and you could make sure that on your server it only used version one 
of uh, the mod. However, generally in the environment that Armour of Forger is in at the moment and Ace will be in as well, these mods are moving so quick that what they tend to be introducing is is improvements and bug fixes. So what you want to do is just get rid of these version numbers by changing them back to just inverted commas. And what that does is it makes the server always use the latest version of that mod, which is what you want. You always want the latest version. And that means you don't have to keep going in and changing things. If you watched any of my previous videos about installing mods on Armour Forger on servers, um, I haven't done this step because I didn't really think about it. So what we do now is we would just take that and we would copy that and then we would go to our server and you know where I said we had you know the left square bracket and then it was the right square bracket with the comma, we would just paste that in between them. Um, as you can see I've already done it here. And they're all, they're all there. Um, and then when you've done it, just do do a check, do a visual check. Just go down, and what you're looking for is before the last. In fact, let's just put a space and put an enter in there. On the last mod, you're looking for the last squiggly bracket not to have a comma after it. And then you're looking for the square bracket and then a comma. And then you, you'll know that that has been formatted. Okay. As you can see here, I've gone through and I've changed all of these mods so that they the version number is just the inverted commas so it's always the latest version and then what you do is you would just save the changes and then if you want the the mods to be applicable restart but obviously if you're in the middle of a game session or something like that you want to really wait until that game session is finished before you do this so you don't delete everybody's vehicles and uh, their progression and all that sort of stuff off the um off the server so that's how easy it is and as i say this is the, the ace mod has only just come out um it will be it's definitely a work in progress i'll put a link to their website in the description below the video as well i'll put a link to my um showcase mod mod uh showcase video where i'll show you some of the things in it as well it's very exciting that it's coming to uh armor of forger and hence will be coming to armor 4 because remember the idea behind armor of forger is it is this test bed for armor 4 they're Armour Forger will still be around, I think, when Armour 4 comes out, but everything will be compatible between the two things, I think. you know. In fact, probably what will happen is Armour Forger will become kind of the test environment for Armour 4. So when they bring in changes, say, I don't know, the way that, say, tanks or something like that, um, or some advanced thing when Armour 4 is already out. They'll put it in Armour of Forger first, where we can play around with it, and then we'll chuck it into Armour 4 afterwards. Anyway, there we go. The advanced combat environment, the ace combat environment. Thank you very much from the ace team. Um, so glad this has come over. And Armour of Forger going from strength to strength. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully you find this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.